Hey guys, today I'm going to spill the beans on one of the most effective manifesting methods. If you're trying to manifest connection with or actions from another person, I'm going to give you three steps on how to use this whisper method of manifestation when something you're manifesting involves another person. First, I'm going to tell you what type of situations are right for this method, then give you three steps to achieve it. And if you're new here, I'm Kate Wilder from Wilder Talk and welcome. Hey, by the way, sign up for a weekly manifesting Shift Your Vibe newsletter. The link is below. So let's get started. Everyone has been loving the whisper method of manifestation because it's just so much fun and people everywhere are getting results, including me. It's an intriguing way to tap into other unseen energies around us. So the whisper method is a manifestation technique that involves using your energy and visualizations to communicate at a distance with someone that either you care about, someone you need a response from, someone in authority who can influence your life, someone you'd like to respond to you in a love relationship. Think of it as like sending a kind-hearted message through the universe or from your higher self to their higher self. It's light and easy. It doesn't require any special tools, but a note that should only be used for good and not manipulation. So how does it work? Let's think about some ways where this whisper method could be especially helpful to you. You want someone to call or text you. You want a friend to reach out to you. When you're looking for a job, an increase in a promotion, this is your method for all of those. When you need a response from someone in business or in personal, this is also a great method. Or perhaps you're hoping a colleague might understand your perspective in a work project. This can even help a relationship or relationship situations where you need someone to better understand you. Maybe you have a conflict you want to resolve and you're not getting anywhere. Or let's say you need a meeting to go well. You need a contract to be good terms for you. Anything that's in process that involves another person connecting with you in some way, this is your method. So let's get into the steps. The first step we can do right now while we're together um, in this short video, or you can do this later when you're alone. This is really simple. We're going to envision the person in your mind quickly. Just picture them, picture the person you'd like to communicate with, and don't overthink it. Just think of them in their natural habitat, at home, in their office, someplace you think that they might be right now. You're going to envision yourself coming into their life, into this natural habitat, almost ethereally. If I said that right, <laughs> it's like you see yourself stepping into their room, standing beside them. If it's somebody you haven't met, like a person receiving your resume for a job, just envision a person in charge as best you can, because this intention will also work. Some friendly reminders using this method, though, before you do this. Keep your messages positive. Focus on outcomes that are for the highest good of all involved, not manipulation or any ill will. And don't worry if it doesn't happen immediately, because sometimes these things take time. You've envisioned the person. Your second step is your message. You're going to say it three times. So now visualize yourself leaning in and gently whispering your message to them in their ear. Again, keep it positive, focusing on what you'd like them to understand or do. See yourself coming up to them and simply whispering in their ear three times. Keep it as simple as you can, such as, call me, call me, call me. For something like being selected for an interview, choose me, choose me, choose me. For something like a conflict resolution, you could speak longer. You could say, please understand my perspective. Please understand my perspective. Please understand my perspective. After you've seen them, you've said what you need to say. Simply just see yourself, envision yourself kissing their forehead and walking away. The reason this is powerful is because it's kind of similar to astral projecting in a way. Even if you don't believe in that sort of thing, you can still try this. Clear visualization is important in manifestation. So as you casually walk away, imagine the conversation going smoothly and positively with outcomes that benefit everyone involved. And then the third step is let it go. Once you've whispered your message, 
kiss them on the forehead, had intentions in your heart and walked away, let it go. Trust that your intention is received. And then just stay positive and patient, knowing that some things do take a little time to be arranged in your favor. Or it might happen fast, instantly, in 24 hours. You might even feel emotion around this when it relates to a love or friendship. Release any doubt about this ever happening and give it some time and see what happens. If you feel compelled to repeat it again, for some reason, follow your guidance. And remember to keep it positive and watch for signs of it coming true. Always leave space for things to be delivered even better than expected. You're directing energy towards making that imagined dialogue a reality. It's a gentle yet powerful nudge to get things happening in the way that you most hope will happen. Now, give this one a try. Make a comment and let me know where it is you're watching from. I'd love to know. And let me know if you try this whisper method. Get ready for the next video and I will catch you later. Thanks for being here.